Will Meghan Markle ever speak to her father, Thomas Markle, again? Why did he stage those paparazzi photos? Does Thomas believe his daughter might run for office one day? And why is he thinking of suing Prince Harry? Thomas Markle was born in Newport, Pennsylvania in 1944. He spent his childhood in the Keystone State before turning his attention to the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. Meghan Markle's dad worked his way up in the entertainment industry as a lighting director and started his career in the 1970s for Chicago's WTTW-TV Channel 11. He clearly was very talented in his chosen field, because in 1975, he was the recipient of the Chicago Midwest Emmy Award for Outstanding Achievement for Individual Excellence Non-Performer due to his professional lighting work on The Made in Chicago Show. Thomas also worked on shows including Married with Children and General Hospital, the latter of which resulted in two more Daytime Emmy Awards for the lighting designer. He won Outstanding Achievement in Design Excellence for a Daytime Drama Series in 1982 and Outstanding Achievement in Lighting Direction for a Drama Series in 2011. It's clear that Meghan had a strong role model in the entertainment industry growing up, as her father was a respected professional in his field. You've probably heard about Meghan Markle's siblings, many of whom have been making their rounds in the media. But you might be wondering if those siblings are close relations or distant relatives. Well, according to Hollywood Life, Thomas Markle married his first wife, Rosalind Loveless, in 1964. The two reportedly met during a party at the University of Chicago and eventually tied the knot. Their first child, Yvonne Marie Markle, who you most likely know as Samantha Markle, was born in 1964. They welcomed a second child, Thomas Wayne Markle Jr., in 1966, but the couple eventually split in 1975. The two siblings who have essentially ridden Meghan's coattails into the spotlight are her half-siblings, as they all share Thomas as a father. Samantha specifically, it seems, has made it her mission to call Meghan out over her supposed treatment of their father. Despite having not spoken to her half-sister since 2008, Samantha told Us Weekly, Megan doesn't have a heart or she would be doing everything she could to make him comfortable and reciprocate and be loving and gracious and make sure he's comfortable in his old age. Even if you don't consider yourself to be a fan of the royal family, you probably know who Meghan Markle's mom, Doria Ragland, is. The two have been extremely close ever since the breakdown of Doria's relationship with Meghan's father, Thomas. Doria and Thomas got married in Los Angeles at the Self-Realization Fellowship Temple on December 23, 1979. As for the venue, the Daily Mail noted, the faux Indian temple was adorned with gold orb-topped turrets, stone elephants, and plastic Buddhas. Meghan's uncle, Joseph Johnson, told the Daily Mail, it was a lovely wedding, but not conventional at all. Doria was very young, just 23, but looked much younger. She had tiny white flowers in her hair. After welcoming Meghan on August 4, 1981, Doria and Thomas only stayed together for two more years before separating. Their divorce was finalized in 1987. When she was young, Meghan Markle's father made a point of taking her with him to film and television sets, which certainly seems like a dream scenario for a little kid destined to become an actress. But to say that their relationship was close, even when Meghan was young, is an overstatement. Thomas reportedly worked a lot when Meghan was young, and the responsibility of raising her fell on her mother, Doria. Meghan's Uncle Joseph told the Daily Mail, "...culturally, our family did not have male figures around. The women were the ones left to raise the children. Meghan was raised by her mother and grandmother, two beautiful, strong strong black women who instilled in her a sense of self-belief. In a stroke of incredible luck, Thomas Markle once won the California State Lottery. Royal biographer Andrew Morton revealed in his book, Meghan, a Hollywood Princess, that Thomas won the lottery when Meghan was young. Thomas's story, however, is not a fairy tale, because he ended up losing a significant chunk of the money. In the book, Morton revealed that Thomas often purchased lottery tickets, and he reportedly spent thousands of dollars attempting to win. His gamble eventually paid off, and he ended up collecting a $750,000 payout from the California State Lottery in 1990. Megan was nine years old at the time. Thomas's winning numbers included digits from Meghan's birthday, and the senior Markle had a pretty big payday as a result. In 2021, the payout equates to $1.58 million. Sadly, the riches didn't last. Before Meghan Markle's father lost his lottery money, he did put some of it to good use. Thomas Markle used some of the money to help his daughter in her academic pursuits. Meghan's half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr., told the Mail on Sunday, "'Dad winning the lottery helped us all. That money allowed Meg to go to the best schools and get the best training. Meg is someone who has always had laser focus. She knows what she wants, and she doesn't stop until she gets it.'" According to Business Insider, Meghan had great success while attending the all-girls private school Immaculate Heart. After leaving, Meghan went on to attend Northwestern University. It was there that the future Duchess studied both theater and international studies, which certainly laid the groundwork for her future careers.
Despite being known as an award-winning lighting designer and winning the lottery, financial stability did not follow Thomas Markle. As noted by The Times, Meghan Markle's father was divorcing her mother at the time of his big win, and to avoid further financial difficulties due to his divorce, he reportedly had a friend collect his earnings for him. The same friend then talked Thomas into investing a chunk of the money into a jewelry business, but the venture collapsed. As such, Thomas declared bankruptcy and, according to the Daily Mail, cited a debt of $30,000. But the father of three did put some of the lottery money to good use before it all went down the drain. As well as helping Meghan pay for her academic pursuits, he reportedly gave some of the winnings to Thomas Markle Jr. so he could start a flower business, and purchase daughter Samantha Markle a car. All eyes were on Meghan Markle when it was announced that she and Prince Harry would be tying the knot. However, not everyone was thrilled with the attention, and Thomas Markle was reportedly very bothered by the alleged harassment that he was facing at the hands of the paparazzi. In the wake of his complaint, Kensington Palace released a statement asking publishers to maintain distance with Thomas. However, Thomas decided to secretly work with members of the British paparazzi in order to stage photos of him reading a book about Great Britain. The photos that Thomas staged apparently allowed him and the photographer Jeff Rayner to net about $132,000. The two met at an internet cafe and were seen on CCTV cameras staging the photos, with Thomas reading an article about Meghan and Harry. So I thought this would be a nice way of improving my look. Needless to say, the incident didn't help Thomas's image in the way that he hoped. The revelation that Thomas Markle had staged paparazzi photos came as a huge blow to Meghan Markle. At the time, Thomas was still set to walk Meghan down the aisle. However, Thomas reportedly suffered a heart attack and underwent surgery shortly after the staged photo story came to light. But even that report was put under the microscope. A source close to Meghan told the Daily Mail, "...the whole story about Meghan's father undergoing heart surgery was made up. He had to come up with a good enough reason not to attend her wedding and avoid any further embarrassment after those staged photos went public." Public. I wish I hadn't done the whole thing. The Daily Mail contacted the hospital in question to confirm Thomas's procedure, and the hospital reportedly didn't have his name in their system. Needless to say, it was a mess, and Prince Charles ended up walking Meghan down the aisle instead. The Markles had already been at the center of a court case when Meghan sued the publisher of the Mail on Sunday for printing a private letter she'd sent to her father. Since then, Meghan's dad has threatened to sue her and Prince Harry over the visitation rights of his grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. According to Page Six, Thomas Markle threatened legal action, as he has been virtually cut off from his grandchildren and it is assumed that he has never met them. Thomas told the hosts of Good Morning Britain that Meghan was acting childish in her decision to keep him away from his grandchildren. He even insinuated that legal action action could come as a result, and that some people have been trying to convince him to sue. I'd love to see my grandchildren." He also revealed that several lawyers had given him their thoughts on the matter. Alluding to the perceived media-grabbing behavior that Meghan and Harry have been accused of, he continued, "...but I think if I did that, I'd be doing the same thing Meghan and Harry are doing." It's hard to imagine that Meghan Markle would want anything to do with her father, given the amount of times he's gone to the press in recent years. But the estranged father told the hosts of Good Morning Britain that he still thinks Meghan will reconnect with him. Page Six reported that Thomas Markle hasn't seen Meghan since before her wedding to Prince Harry, which took place in May 2018. Since then, he has been targeting her in the media. He went on to tell the hosts of Good Morning Britain that, regardless of not having heard from the royal couple, he is adamant that a relationship with them will happen in the future. Thomas explained, "...eventually she'll start talking to me. This is way too childish. This is kind of silly. It's time to talk with each other. We're family. The kids are going to grow up without knowing they have two families. Only time will tell whether Thomas can really repair his relationship with Meghan and finally meet his grandchildren." Meghan Markle seems like an ambitious, compassionate, fashionable, and philanthropic woman with the world at her feet. But her father, Thomas, doesn't seem to see his daughter in the same light. In fact, he told GB News that Meghan does not have any ambition, especially when it comes to a future career in politics. Meghan stirred up attention when she lobbied U.S. politicians for paid parental leave. Plus, rumors about a potential run for public office have always swirled around her, especially since she moved back to the United States. But Thomas revealed that he doesn't think his daughter has what it takes, and shared that the whole idea is laughable to him. He told GB News, I thought it was a joke. He continued, I don't think she has any ambition to be a mayor. I don't think she has any ambition to be a governor or president. I don't think that's in her mind at all. If someone's saying that, it might be cute. 
It's hard to think that Meghan Markle's father really wants a relationship with her again because he never shies away from criticizing her publicly. Most recently, Thomas Markle came out against Meghan's appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where she played a silly prank on unknowing vendors, with the funny talk show host telling her what to say through an earpiece. Unsurprisingly, Thomas was not a fan of the appearance. He told the Sunday Mirror that the whole segment was a stupid stunt that was shameful to the royal family. Thomas continued, "...it's no way to behave. The whole thing was kind of embarrassing. It was certainly embarrassing for the royal family. It's embarrassing for her as well. I suspect it embarrassed everyone in the UK, too." It was surprising that Thomas had such a serious reaction to a rather silly TV moment. But Thomas went on to say, "...she's putting herself out there as a duchess, but I've never seen a duchess behave this way, doing stupid stunts." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.